Hello everybody, and welcome back, after far too long, to Sucker for Love, Date to Die For, as we now approach into the second chapter of the game. Last time, we managed to get the true ending, uh, and the bad ending. The true ending being us escaping, and the bad one being death, b violent death, by immortal lovers. And now we're jumping into chapter two, and... Oh, I love this song. But anyways, I'm expecting quite a bit, and especially considering we always know based on how this game works, or at least how the last game worked. The death never truly is the ending. So let's Did just jump into chapter two. Happen? Did something scary happen? Yes, yes it did. Um, for people who don't remember, we cut back to the bookstore when we died in the bad ending. And this is us waking back up. In the book you're reading, did something scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. A, a little. I'm a little pale. Rude, firstly, but yes, I'm a little pale. Uh, I must have nodded off and had a bad dream. Sure. Ah, uh, well, you know, the good stuff. I can't remember, but I saw something or someone. Then I passed out. Er, w woke up, I guess. Hmm. Either you were awake and passed out, and now you're dreaming, or you were dreaming and got scared awake. Either way, you're on the other side from whatever you saw, for now. I assume the implication is like, this is after we saw someone walk out of the flaming house, right? Whatever I saw. These dreams will be the end of me. Better find my siblings soon. A year ago, all nine of my siblings vanished into the woods during a string of disappearances. They were never found. Cool. Earlier today, I received the picture in the mail. It's a photograph of all of them together at my grandmother's house here in Sacramento. It was taken recently. Okay, that's not what we received the first time. This photo is the whole reason I came here, but now it's making me uneasy, like there's something I'm forgetting about. If you're having trouble finding a book you're interested in, may I make a suggestion? If it's a book club, I'm gonna say nah. I think I need to get going before it gets too dark. I'll quickly hear her out and let her down gently. Uh, sure. I believe you'll find this one to your liking. Wait, what? Why do you have it? Well, it's funny, this book is... Roxanne, her name was Roxanne, where is she? A flood of fragmented memories is rushing back to me. I'm back at the beginning of the nightmare. Am I just starting all over? No, think. Some of my memories don't line up. I remember my parents going missing, but my parents are alive and well. I just talked to them the other day. What? Wait, so was that a separate reality entirely? Something has changed. What's happening to me? Having trouble remembering what you dreamed about? That's perfectly normal. Humans forget 95% of their own dreams. I imagine they forget even more about the dreams of others. Don't you think? Who are you? Shh. It's alright. You're safe here. I am Moo. I made the book you're holding. Oh! Oh! Then she's the reason this whole damn mess even exists? Blackwood's disappearances, all of it? You caused all of this. Ah, uh, you blame me for the misfortune befalling the Black Goat. Because I made the book to begin with. I mean, a little. That's fair. But I merely created a means of communication between humans and gods. Am I truly to blame if someone else uses it for evil instead? Fair point. However... Wait, are you human based on that logic, or are you a god? I don't quite understand where you fit. How is she just talking about gods like it's nothing? Are you... Uh, are you another eldritch god, or an immortal human? I am neither of those things, but I am a friend, here to aid you. Thank you for not helping me. You've regained a portion of your memories surrounding the book after looking at it, yes? That should lead you where you're trying to go. Coming through the book, Roxanne's face is coming back to me. If I recall correctly, I should be able to get her- get to her through Missing Person Lane. Thanks for giving this back to me. Don't thank me. In time, I hope you'll come to forgive me. Oh, well, eh. Yeah. This feels familiar. I'm getting some killer deja vu right now. I've definitely been here before. It wasn't raining, though. That's new. But even still, this alley feels unfamiliar, like it changed completely from the last time I was here. The rain doesn't help. 
I quickly pick a direction and break into a brisk jog, but no matter how hard I look, I can't find my turn. Backtracking, hugging the walls, nothing seems to be helping. What's my house number again? I bet it's somewhere in the photo I got in the mail. It's a receipt again, isn't it? Yep. Wait a minute, this... The freak gets a trap just like last time. But nobody's there. But isn't this where I was supposed to... Run into the girl from last time? Instead, I'm all alone. That's... Fair, that's true. Something is wrong. Things are repeating themselves, but they're different. I won't be able to rely on what fragmented memories I have. Yeah. Even stranger, I managed to arrive to, m to my old house undetected this time. I better rush to my room and summon uh, Roxanne. The Black Woods are back. Uh-huh. I have a few questions, but I feel like those will be answered in time, so I won't bother. Um. Damn. I just have the book. I have four heartbeats. Three aren't mine. Why can't I go home? Why can't I sleep? Why can't I die? I can feel the roots like a thousand spiders on my skin. Everyone is rooted. Everyone is rooted. Where have I gone? Cool. Got Cthulhu. The woods fat... That was a flash. Fatten themselves on us. The dead feed the woods. The living feed the woods. Whose blood is the tree bleeding? Huh? That's a very, very different page than before. See the... This is the page I read previously. Oh my god, okay. Um... So... Inspect. A butterfly caught in a web. Strange. Don't see a spider around. Wonder how long the poor thing's been trapped. That's the same. Okay. Or police. Fuck! Fuck! What are they all do- What are they all doing here? How did they know I was coming? My head! You? That's it? Buck was so worried about you? Buck remembers. That's bad. I was wondering what raw strength you must have had in order to scare Buck into calling me and for this. And I was looking forward to tearing you apart. But you're just one scrawny mortal girl. I was promised you'd be an actual threat. Well, screw you too. This is overkill. Just do it yourselves. I hear the sound of steel unsheathing and heavy chains dragging towards me. The sounds halt a short distance from me. They're hesitating. Is it me or do they look afraid? What's wrong? What are you idiots waiting for? Buck says that in a previous reality, she somehow managed to kill all of us. Alone. Well, technically no. Cultists are muttering uneasily against each other. Amongst Steven. You fight a thousand against one in your own face? <laughs> Somewhere behind that mask, their cruel gaze is sizing me up. As if I don't see it. Come on, think I need to break their confidence. Uh, Buck was telling the truth. I did beat you all, and then burn the Blackwoods down with everyone in it. Notice how Buck, the one who knows the most about me, isn't here. You didn't want to risk it? She's that dangerous? They look visibly rattled. None of them want to risk their precious, long-lived bodies. Now for the biggest bluff. Don't think I'm a threat? Don't think I can wipe the floor with you and your friends even now? Go on, underestimate me. Make the same mistake Buck did before he lost. All right. I've heard enough. I'm interested. Okay, this may have backfired. I got him. Every single one of them dropped their weapons, except for the big one. However, you're wounded, unarmed, and outnumbered. Wait, why am I wounded? I'm not about to live the next thousand years ashamed of myself for killing you now. Go lick your wounds first. Wait, why am I injured? Also, you're immortal? Really? Now isn't the time for playing around. Shut up. Form a perimeter outside. No one gets out. No one comes in. Buck isn't gonna be happy about this. Buck will have his book. And her head. Bottom line. 
Cool, sweet, great. The cultists begrudgedly depart, retrieving their makeshift weapons from the ground. None so much as look at me as they pass. After all that talk, what you said about beating the thousand had better be true. Because if you can't prove your strength to me, <laughs> I'll destroy you. Uh, Billy, was it? Can we just be friends instead? Did they break your arm? Huh? My arm? Oh god! It really is broken. How am I going to make it out of this now? Let an unfair advantage hollow my victory. Why is my arm broken? <laughs> they just break their own arm? My expectations for you are high. I believe you really did beat the thousand once. But that ends here. You have won, Richard. Then, I'm coming. <laughs> and don't think I'll stop at a couple broken ribs when I find you. Don't you constantly feel the pain? Or is that only for, like, deadly wounds? I don't remember. I bought myself some time, but what did I just get myself into? Um, can I talk to you? Go. I won't be denied my glory. I will befriend you yet. Uh, uh <laughs> Did anyone drop a weapon I could pick up? Of course not. Of course, of course not. Um I'm not gonna risk exploring. Actually wait, do I need anything for this? I have a plant mister with you. I'm sure the idol of the black goat pres is present. Black goat present somewhere in the room. That's that's not a sentence. While facing a tree, the Blackwoods chant her name. Okay, so I don't need anything. I'm fairly sure the sprayer is just in the room, right? Presumably no one's gonna jump me, though. I hope, at least. Ready? Up we go! Roxanne, I'm being bullied. Help. Roxanne, help. Okay, black goat, mister. Yeah, I was right. What the hell? Why do I have a heart? Well, ignore the dumb question. Um, douse any lit candles. Someone was prepared. I'm sure there's an idol of the black goat there, mister with you, while facing a tree at the Blackwoods Chanter Night. Roxanne, help. Oh, I have a heart now. Stardust. I live! It really is you. I can't believe this. It's me, Roxanne, the Black Goat of the Woods. Don't worry, I remember. Really? You do? When I saw the book, I remembered everything. Well, 5% of everything. Most important parts. I remember her alright, but what happened to the standoffishness? I don't have any memories of being so close. Stardust. My Stardust. Oh. It's been so, so long. What do you mean, so long? So long? It feels like I just saw you. This is so different. She's completely lost her composure over me. For me, it's as if hundreds of years have passed. Not that you would have noticed your reality beginning anew. Only cosmic entities still exist in the space between dreams. Does that include Buck? Wait, us meeting? That happened in a completely different reality? This is terrible! I know it's a lot to take in, but... I mean, I wore the same thing at two dates in a row! <laughs> That's not the part I thought you'd get stuck on. You're completely unfazed by the fact you haven't existed for a millennia. Kinda. What were you doing all that time? Trying to avoid falling asleep again. To keep from creating new nightmares. But now that it has begun again, I'm so, so happy that I'm dreaming about you too. She's brushing my hair with her hand like a mother coddling their child. It's nice, but I just realized something terrible. What is- what was- Buck been doing all this time. Floating in the space between dreams, strategizing against you, likely. <sighs> nothing to do but reflect on how you beat him. Buck has had a hundred years to build a grudge with me. Sweet, good to know. Shoot, I'm going up against someone that knows all my moves from a parallel reality. That explains how I got ambushed. He knew I was coming. I should hurry. I want to hold on to this moment for a bit longer. We might actually have the time for it. Only one cultist is after us this time. Really? Who? Uh... I think the others said his name was Billy. It was clearly a her, but... Well, I don't want to You know what? I retract my statement. Billy? Oh, Stardust! What, 
What is... is that bad? Very bad. Oh, this is a nightmare. I couldn't bear to watch if Billy catches you. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. He didn't seem so bad. She... And the fact yeah, that you okay. met her and lived is a miracle. I don't know. She seemed different from the others. The rest of the thousand acts like mindless zombies, but it's like she was fully conscious. Well, I suppose it's possible that even with her bloodthirst multiplied a thousand times over, that she still has a desire stronger than that. Which would be... She was one of your tormentors, right? Do you have any guesses what would that desire be? She has a very odd honor code that she follows to the letter. Her strict adherence to that code is probably the only thing strong enough to overpower my influence. Okay. From what I gather, it's essentially the law of the jungle. Big fish eats small fish. Might makes right. Great. And she, and she broke her arm. Um, might makes right, but that doesn't- but that can't be right. She takes orders from Buck. There's no way Buck is mightier than Billy. Have you seen her? She probably considers Buck stronger than her because he's immortal. That's a fair assessment. Wait, and she isn't? Then what was the whole waiting a thousand years thing? So even though Buck is physically weaker than Billy, she listens to him anyways because he's essentially undefeatable. Okay, I can use that to save all three of us. All three of us? Ugh, Stardust. You got one of the thousand to have a change of heart and join your side. But Billy isn't like the rest of them. The only way to get through to her at all is to speak her language. I have to kick her ass. I'm counting on that. I just have to think of something. I suppose I could beat her by finishing the ritual while she's hunting me, but I doubt that she'll just let me go if I succeed. The house is surrounded after all. There must be some other way to convince her I'm stronger than her. Kick her ass. Um, what am I picking up? Meat from the living that died within the black forest, milk of the black goat. Oh yeah, no, and that can just be, like, cow's milk, right? Lastly, a stop flashing. Lastly, a receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. What is liquid life? Is that just blood? Okay. Anyone home? Occupado. Uh, wrong thing. So left. This is probably the safer direction. Okay. I think we're good. Um, dining. The blood. And there's the meat. Sweet. Okay. I'm not sure which uh, is making me or more uneasy. The volume of the blood or the fact that it feels familiar. I don't like the familiar part. Tear a hunk of meat from the hook, this should be what I'm looking for. I don't remember being this spoiled for choice last time. All this meat, the thousand were really out for blood this time around. Cool. There's no way she's in here, right? Yeah, figured. How else would I get in? Unusually pungent spices. Pepper, nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon. To name a cup all I see. The air is almost suffocating thick with their scent. Uh-huh. Cool. Good to know. Um, looks like cooking oil, except it's a gallon container. It smells like burnt hair and sulfur. The color is black as soot. Cool. This must be the milk I need, right? Better grab this and go before Billy shows up. That's everything, Roxanne. Here I come. What's that sound? Great. Don't like the noise. Um... out here cool sweet
Oh, a kitty. Hello, little darling. Poor thing must be terrified with all the commotion going on. Come on, let's get you out somewhere safe. What? Its face is missing. What's wrong? Never seen a Russian blue before. Oh! I actually recognize that voice. <laughs> Hi. Been a while. Roxanne only gave me lightheadedness, but this. My sanity is slipping through my fingers like grains of sand. Pardon my intrusion, but when my niece didn't awaken, wailing and clutching at her sheets, I knew something was amiss. I had to see the source of her pleasant dreams for myself. Oh! You're... Roxanne's aunt? I've heard much about you. The way my niece spoke of you. You'd think she'd learned nothing from her eternal torment at human hands. Uh-huh. Your niece, Roxanne. You're her aunt? Many call me aunt. Others call me the Clying Chaos, the Haunter of the Dark, the Mind Eater, the Unknown that pushes back. I'll call you Auntie Nyan. I've earned many ominous titles and aliases that I don't much care for. But you may call me by what <laughs> I do quite like. Auntie Nyan Nyan. I was joking. <laughs> I'm being driven over the edge, my very sanity thrashing towards this watery tomb amidst the unimaginably elasophobic void. Oh, having trouble there. Where's that indomitable human spirit that I've heard so much about? Ah, uh, I left it at home. Hmm, hmm. Pathetic. If Roxanne could see the state of you now, she'd know she was wrong about humans. Foolishly believing that humans and gods could be anything more than livestock and butcher. That admirable, worthwhile traits like kindness and perseverance are just in human nature. That silly goat, so old and yet still so naive. Well, alas, I was once her age, and she has yet to be my age. Her torment will help her grow up. I dated you in one reality, I'll do it again. H how dare you? She's suffering. I've seen how much damage this has done to her, and I'm not even halfway through healing any of it. Is this some kind of joke to you? This is gravely serious. <laughs> That's why it's so damn funny. Screw you too. Come now. The very same humans that she lent her power to use it for the sole purpose of inflicting as much suffering upon her as possible. Classic comedy. <laughs> The cosmos is always laughing and never smiling. But then you <sighs> come along and muddle the lesson I'm trying to teach her. Oh. You will pay dearly for that. Please don't kill me. Did, did you come here to kill you? You're not immortal, so death means nothing to you. You aren't around to see it, and in the next reality, you won't even know it happened. All my creativity would go to waste. Okay. Besides, I never feel so threatened by a human to step in personally. Then why are you here? I'm here for... Oh, what is the human expression of victory la? I'm here to watch you die when the thousand takes back the book and Roxanne gets what she deserves for consorting with humans. I won't let you say something so awful about your own family in front of me. It's nothing. You You've clearly lost your composure, presuming to tell a god what I... she can and cannot do. I'd revert back to my suppressed form to spare your I, I should have sprayed her. I'm regretting that. I really should have. You see this, monk? I'm etching up her. Oh, whoops. A permanent tally counting the number of times that you've been made humble at the bloody hands of a thousand. This one's a given. Wait, what? This will help you keep perspective. The next time that you think there is any hope, any hope at all, take a good look. Your memories of its significance will come pouring back. Enjoy resting your head on Roxanne's shoulders while you can. Soon, it won't be resting on yours. You're insufferably annoying. 
Cool. There are the tally marks that Auntie Nyan Nyan have been leaving for me. She's been adding one for every time I've lost. Doesn't really prove much as is. Oh. Okay, let's just go back in. Cool. So, I talked to your aunt. Not a fan. Kind of a jerk. Not gonna lie. Um. Chant while facing red fire. That is red, I think. Okay. Ah, that smells wonderful. You're such a good follower of mine. But is it ready? It may not be hot enough. <laughs> Yet. Oh, such decadent, indulgent food can be so messy, too. If only we had something to eat off of. Um, like the floor. Right there. Floor. Ready. Me. If you'd like. There's a floor. <laughs> There's a floor right there. I'm sure there's some plates downstairs. I could throw the food in the microwave if it's gotten too cold too. Always ready for anything, aren't you? Thank you for shutting her down. I shovel a small handful of morsels into my mouth. Well, I wasn't prepared to meet your aunt. My aunt? Auntie Nyan Nyan? You saw her? What is she doing here? She laid one finger on you, so help me! No, 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 I'm fine, really. She just said she was here to spectate. Spectate? What a sick old witch. I'll give her something to spectate. You know what's usually make her angry? What if we do that right now? <laughs> It'd be so funny, trust me. I... This game doesn't have nudity, right? Please, dear god, please tell me it doesn't. My mouth's full of food. Oh, can I have a taste? Down! Shut up! That's gross. Kidding, kidding. I was only 90% serious. To so a majority. You're not helping your case. Shut up. She's getting more and more serious as time passes. It would have really gotten to Auntie Nyan Nyan, though. I don't care. Shh. Kids are watching. Shut up. She seems nice. You're allowed to say you hate my family. She seems nice. And after? After I get to know them, it'll be too late to hate them. I'd love to hear about your family, Roxanne. If I ever had a dream where we aren't in so much peril, I'd be happy to tell you all about them. Cool. Why do you keep dreaming about this, then? It's a date! Cool. Great. Awesome. I don't want to spray the water on Roxanne because I don't want to miss dialogue because I'm that kind of guy. But I'm very, very fucking tempted. I found a shortcut to uprooting. There's only three rituals that need to be done first. Should be faster and easier. Drink directly from a healthy, beating heart of the woods. Red is okay. Purple's not. Chant while near your partner. Cool. Sure. Don't. I wasn't. The book glitched. Drink from a heart of the... Okay, so wait, I need to do that first? Oh. Okay, I was I was jumping ahead a little. No one here? Hello? Housekeeping? Anyone home? I need to go this way. This is... I'm squared. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Run. Run. Ah. Uh, what the? Oh! As soon as I touch the heart, a large quantity of blood spills out onto the floor in front of me. I cup a handful and drink it down. It's strange, but after losing so much blood, the heart appears to have grown slightly larger. I feel a little funny, but it looks like I did it right. Okay. And now I need to get back to Roxanne, right? Shh. 
Where is she? Billy. Okay. Woo. Too far. Too far. Doors. Doors don't work the way I want them to. Okay. Drank for the heart. Yeah, I can chant. Oh my. This I like. Huh? Seeing you in my dark image <laughs> warms me to my roots. I'm sorry, what? Dark image. I don't feel any different. What changed? Let me check my reflection. Just, I wouldn't look in the mirror so soon. The shock might be a lot to take in. Am I a goat? Okay, but now I basically gotta look. <sighs> Deep breaths, be strong. I had a shirt on before, didn't I? This isn't so bad. All in all, I think I actually look kind of cute with these. Go horns. I wonder if they're real. Can I touch them? Okay. What was that? Was that me? Was that my voice just now? It sounded hoarse, like I'd been screaming at the top of my lungs for hours. More importantly, what I saw just now. What's happened to me? What? What? Is that a tin can? Lunch crunch. Something is very wrong. Did I just eat a can? I just ate a tin can. Based toward a device capable of producing sound from a radio signal. Ensure that it is on. Chant three times. This ritual will amplify all animalistic behavior of those within earshot, including asterisk and aggression. Don't worry about it. Just go straight to Roxanne as soon as possible after chanting. Trust me. Ooh, put the little memo in. Okay. So I need to get to the radio. Cool. This is the shortest distance. He's not in the room, right? Cool, sweet. Turn TV on? What did I just do? She definitely reacted. I don't know what that did, though. Oh my god. I'm back. Suddenly a floral perfume like scent washes over me. Oh, what the? I was just thinking about you. Oh my god, I really want a Sprite. Wait. Ch fuck. <laughs> don't take that out of context. I've just been so hopelessly distracted by you. I seem to have misplaced all of my clothes and adornments. <laughs> Whatever should we do? Hmm? Got you covered. Here's a shirt. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I love this image because of how dumb it is. <laughs> this is a real low point. <laughs> Keeping this shirt, by the way. Sure, it looks good on you. Oh, that old thing? I basically only used it for pajamas. Take it. Mm -hmm. Don't. 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 Oh, I should reciprocate. Come here. Let me do your horns for you. It won't take long. I sit down while she gently preens and decorates my new satyr like spikes. Oh, look at you. So pretty. My sweet Bothanopad. Did you put your gold horn tips on mine? Head top of my horns. The tips have been adorned with luxurious metal. Shake my head a few times. The fit is perfect. Wow! 
Was that Billy? It sounded like her back. That was fun, but I better get back to the rituals. Cool, sweet, great. I might die. Um, wait, what? This will expose the radioactive roots of the black woods, allowing them to burn without an accelerant this time. Cast outside like on a porch or balcony, but face away from the woods. Do not look at the woods in any way until the second phase of the ritual is complete. Cool. Sweet. Great. She's upstairs, isn't she? Yes. Okay. You're not in the bathroom, I assume? Not on the balcony, I assume? I assume? Okay, do not look at the Blackwoods in any way. So, like, just stare this way. And just chant. Don't look at it. You may have lost your sense of direction. This is normal. Stay calm. But do not directly view the woods in any way. Windows and doors included until the ritual is concluded. Avoid looking into any mirror. On your way back to your partner, chant to hide the roots from your sight. Go to your bedroom. Ah. Okay. I lost my sense of direction. And now I'm downstairs. Don't. Look. Fuck. Don't look at the windows. Where are the doors? Wait, what? Wait, where am I? Um. <gasps> Run. Run. Uh, bedroom. Oh, God. I was looking at the woods by accident near the end there. Roxanne, I did it. That was the last ritual before I can uproot you. Oh, that's great news. Don't cue the music. What's wrong? It's nothing, but if there's any loose ends left to tie up, now would be a good time to do it. Before uprooting me, that is. Haste makes waste, after all. Still haven't beaten Billy yet. If I don't do it now, I might not get another chance. Again, Billy is scary as hell. I was able to survive all this time without getting spotted, but who knows how many times she's killed me in other realities. Actually, none. She hasn't gotten you once. Because I'm that good. If I knew that exact number, I might be able to come up with a strategy. Oh. If only I knew that number. Wait, hold up. Hold up. If your relationship with Roxanne's... Uh, Roxanne name has soured or you no longer wish to have the earth consumed by the Black Woods, this ritual is the only way to rid you rid uh, your reality of them. For now. This ritual will cause the Black Woods to burn to ash and the hearts will return to their dormant state. It will allow you to escape from the Black Woods, but be warned, you can never meaningfully leave the Black Woods once you've entered them. The previous ritual should have exposed the roots. No further reagents or rituals are needed to burn them. Go to the heart of the woods while facing a heart to chant. Again, what's that last page? Am I really gonna be beating Billy without dying once? These are the tally marks. She's been adding one every time I've lost. Doesn't really prove much as is. Also, she put one preemptively. I didn't I haven't died yet. Okay, we're good. Okay, I think we're good. Good. Be good. I don't hear Billy.
Okay. Oh, I clicked out of the game. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Here we go. Go to the heart of the woods while facing a heart. Okay. Enchant. Wait, don't. Not yet. Please. Okay. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm not ready to leave yet. You don't know how long it's been since I've had any solace in these nightmares. Since my dreams are something to look forward to. Now that you're here, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. How do I know I won't be alone next time? What if you are there to make me feel safe? Aww. I don't want to leave. Okay, you can stay. What? I'll stay with you here for as long as you need. But Something bad is bound to happen to everyone, that's life, but that doesn't mean it's not worth living, though. Never cut my time here without you, Short, just because it'll end eventually. I'll wait here until someone drags me away. I ask you to do that. I couldn't do that to us. I couldn't see what they do to you. Yes, you could. Your big ol' worry wart. Bad things happen, sure, but they're always but they'll always pass. Plus you're immortal. Something good enough to make all this worthwhile is bound to happen eventually. You're right. I just have to be patient. Whatever our time apart holds, I'll have the heart to face it. Thank you. Anytime, Roxanne. Ready? Ready. Okay. Thank you, my sweet stardust. No problem. Cool. Um. Great, escape. Is Billy chasing me still? Probably not, based on the music. For such of a big threat that you've been sort of stated as, Billy, you're kind of a pushover. Okay. She's gonna probably be at the front door, I imagine. All right, front door. Door. Come and get me. Come on, I know you're here. What a surprise. What happened? Did the whole house fall on me? I don't see any rubble. I wonder why. Turns up. Book, I've got to take it in. You can't see your body, but I can. You'll suffer if you try to move. You're finished. No, I'm so close. I reach for the book, but my wrist is kicked aside. Already. You're already dead. Even if you can't feel it yet. I'll be taking this to Buck, as promised. I try to yell in protest so that words won't come out. Buck gets the book back. No, I won't let either of you hurt Roxanne. Not in my house. Let go. Let go. You can't put up with their fight anymore. There's no glory in prying this book out of your hands now. So admit defeat and let go. There's no glory. Can I break her principles? I reach with my other hand and, and thump frailly along the closed pages for a grip. You're going to dishonor me by not conceding. I'll have to take this by force. Okay. Her morals are the thing keeping her in control. If I make her break her morals, this will probably cause her to go nuts. There's a loud tearing noise. A pain beyond belief rips through my body. You ripped out a page. Why? You're too wounded to speak. You won't be able to cast anything to save yourself. That doesn't matter now. I know I'm beyond saving, this me at least. But if what happens is say I'm saying about new realities is true, and there'll be another stardust another time, then I'll happily pass the baton, but I won't let Roxanne suffer in the meantime. Save the black woods. You ripped out the page that lets you summon the Black Woods. If that burned with the house, Buck would have no way of summoning Roxanne to hurt her, and she would be saved, right? 
that's your plan? That's how you're going to waste your strength? <laughs> Useless. I'm not bad at you. Feel my fist being pried open by an inhuman grip. My entire hand goes numb. All my extremities do. There's a pause before my wrist is released. I fall limply to the ground. I hear footsteps retreating as Billy leaves. I failed. I was so very close. I'm sorry, Rexan. With my last drop of will, as my vision begins dim, I turn my head towards my clenched fist. Page still in hand. Let it burn. Wait, what? She's leaving with the book, but letting me destroy the most important page? There's too much to unpack here with what little time I have left. She, so instead, I watch the page in my hand burn to ash as everything goes dark. Roxanne, in this dream, the one about me, you're safe. Oh! Stay tuned! Another episode of Sucker for Love, Date to Die For, is coming up. Oh! Huh. Even though Stardust lost the battle, looks like she's winning the war, isn't she? Hey, why are we counting on me all of a sudden? Can't you find somebody less famous to get their hands dirty? Wait, Next what? time on Sucker for Love, the lonely devil arrives. Now who wants an autograph? Oh. I did it. First try. I did it first try. What the hell? Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uprooted. Survived Labyrinth. What is this? It says good ending, but this is also green. The other ending wasn't green, right? No, it was. Okay, so that is an ending. Okay, it is an ending. But... How am I meant to f Survived Labyrinth. So I got out of the Labyrinth. That was the last ritual before I can uproot. That, that's... <sighs> What's wrong? It's nothing, but if there's any loose ends left to tie up... Oh, I have to... Now would be a good time to do it. I have to take... De I have to ends. take out Billy. Haste makes way. I still haven't beaten Billy yet. I might not get another chance. But then again, Billy is scary as hell. I was able to survive all this time without getting spotted, but who knows how many times she's killed me in other realities. Once. If I knew the exact number, I might be able to come up with a strategy. Okay. Is there any of these rituals I can repeat at all? Okay, see if the Black Woods is still here. Um. Wait, what? I did not die that many times. There are tally marks that Auntie Nyan Nyan have been leaving for me. She's been adding one every time I've lost. Oh, look at all these times I've kicked the bucket. Jeez, I had no idea I died so many times, and yet I'm still here. Wait, that's it. If I show this to Billy, I might make it out of this. I should wait here. Oh. I'm showing her that I'm pathetic, so she doesn't kill me. That's... dumb. But sure. Hey, Billy. I'm showing her that I'm pathetic, so that she knows she's wasting her time. That's... dumb, but sure. Why not? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Don't tell me you've given up. I was clear what would happen if I caught you. There is no dishonor in killing you now. Actually, I can prove I'm stronger than you right here, right now, without throwing a single punch. Take a look. You're bluffing. Is this some kind of a trap you set for me? Not a trap, a scoreboard. Scoreboard? A 12 foot tall cat girl in high heels from outer space carved these notches into the wall. Oh! Oh my god, that is. That is such a good line. Alright, go on. Really? I haven't. Oh. 
I haven't already lost to you. That makes sense to you so far? I work for a cult that worships a four-eyed goat tree from outer space. Your story really isn't outside the realm of, uh, believability yet. Go on. Okay, fair enough. She made these notches because she wanted to discourage me. She makes a permanent tally mark on the wall each time you kill me. She left this to prove I'll only lose against you. But actually, it's the only way I could have ever proven I've won. So, I've beaten you to death countless times? That's your point. My point is that my tenacity is, is infinite. All of these times I've lost, and you're not any closer to defeating me. See, so right. This may be the number of times I've fallen, but also it's the number of times I've come back. Huh. You're telling the truth, aren't you? I mean, that's the reason you don't kill Buck, right? It's inevitable. You can't win. However, all you've proven is that we're in a stalemate. If you really believed I'd spare you because we're tied at the moment, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, you still have to die. Your personal honor code means you only listen to someone that's stronger than you, right? And you listen to Buck. That must mean that he's stronger than you because he's immoral. Even if I manage to break him in two now, he could beat me the next time we met by already knowing what I was going to do. That makes him stronger than me. And, but he'd be worse for wear, right? He keeps the mental and physical trauma for all of your previous attempts to kill him. And I don't. I come back good as new every time, without even remembering how I got my head handed to me. If Buck and I fought, I would eventually win, because his injuries would accumulate and mine wouldn't. That makes me stronger than Buck, which makes me stronger than you. <laughs> I got her. Well, what does she think? <laughs> oh, proving you're stronger than me without throwing a single punch. I see your strength. I won't come after you anymore if you spare me. Hell yeah! Spare her? Geez, she really does believe I'm stronger than her. I mean, I guess I was still- I was telling the truth, but I didn't expect her to submit like this. She must take that honor code of hers seriously. It's a deal, on two conditions. What's the first one? Could you maybe take off your mask? Fine. Oh! Wait, her eyes. Wait, you're not possessed. You don't have the Sacramentia stare. No, I'm not one of the thousand. I'm not even from here, either. Wait, what? So? What's the second order? Once I finish the uprooting ritual to set Roxanne free, I want to escape alive with the book. Done. Oh, sweet. That was easy. Really? Easy as that? That's a huge relief. But be warned. When Buck sees me helping you, there's no way he'll let me meet you again in the next life. I'll either be dead or somewhere far, far away. Fair point. If I do this, this is the only time I'll be able to help you. This reality is your only shot. So this is the only time I'll be able to count on Billy. Better make it count. All right, once I finish the last ritual, we're okay, going. I'll watch your room until then. So you're just in here? No. God. I clicked off my screen again. Keep doing that. Well, that begs a question. Where are you? You said you'd be watching the room. Are you just in the bathroom? Nope. Okay. Well... Oh! Oh yeah, I've never been able to make it into this room, have I? That's... Oh! Hey! I was wondering, what exactly is your honor code? We're surrounded by a thousand people that want me dead. I'll give you the short version then. I only listen to people stronger than me. For example, I don't follow any law written by somebody who benches less than 450. <laughs> Isn't that basically all of them though? Yeah. If some dusty old fart couldn't force me to return my shopping carts in person, why do I have to do it because of a law they wrote while wearing a dress? It's not illegal to not return your shopping carts. Really? It's not? No, but it's kind of weird that you don't anyways. You can't move a shopping cart from one end of the parking lot to the other. I owe you nothing. Cool. Sure. Let's head on All down. Right. Be on guard. Buck might be surveilling us. Got it.
Cool. Alrighty. This is my only chance. Okay, just be careful then, I guess. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Yep. Okay, you can stay. I'll stay with you here as long as you need. Okay. Uh, I'll never cut my ties here with you short just because it'll end eventually. I'll wait here until it drags me away. Uh, worry wart. I need some rock sign. Okay. Sweet, now I can do it. Um, Billy is not here though. Okay. Thank you, my sweet stardust. All done here. Black woods are burning. Buck probably knows now. This is our one shot. Got it. Now I gotta get out. All right, what's the plan? Can you get us out of here? Remember that the thousand formed a perimeter around the house. If we run out blindly, we're finished. The burning roots are invisible too. So, to stay safe, keep your feet on something that doesn't burn, like cement or water. I saw a pond on the foot- SHIT! It's Buck, where is he? Did- How the hell did he shoot? I did hear footsteps for a sec. I'm not sure if they were mine. God, I love it when games let me hear my own footsteps. That never makes things confusing. Alright, gotta get out. Thank god that missed. I turn around to see Buck was silently loading another shell into his shotgun. That must have hurt. Why is he so burned already? My skin isn't falling off like this. Like his. What happened to you? you did. Ah! Nanny happened too. Nanny. Hearing that name, that was someone who helped me escape. Where is she? Couldn't be trusted, Helen. So she's gone this time. Nanny's gone next time. Now give me the book. Don't bother telling me it's not with you. Because I'm shooting you either way if you don't hand it over right now. For my dead body. Not stronger than me now, are you? <gasps> Billy! Billy! Oh, oh, as I was saying, hold my rope to your mouth. And jump in the pond on your way out. Wait in the water until the fire's burned over. What about you? Go. I turned, rushing out the door. There's nobody standing between me and the pond. I made it through this time. Take one last look behind I'll me. Get you. Yeah. Stay tuned. Another episode of Sucker for Love, Date to Die For, is coming up. All right. Huh. Looks like she was stronger than me after all. You've got your work cut out for you, kid. Nice! Hey, why are we counting on me all of a sudden? Can't you find somebody less famous to get their hands dirty? Next Hell yeah. For love, the lonely devil arrives. Now who wants an autograph? Okay. So perfect. That is chapter two complete. I don't think there's another ending. Billy has left the thousand. Oh, that's cool. I love this art of her. It's really nice. True end. Okay. So, unlike the last one, to get this true end, you have to get the other end first. Okay. Cool. Nice to know. Okay. So, just to confirm. Just to conf Keeps egg progress. Okay. House of Wax. Just to confirm. All right. I got the true end. The Lonely Devil Arrives. Keepsake Progress. Alright. Chapter 999. 
Really? Oh, okay. Well, apparently I can't click the thing anymore. Alright, whatever. 